Chess friends, welcome to my Q&A section video, in this I will answer all your questions, so, let's go, Neat Star asks, how to improve our theory and understanding. Improving chess theory, and understanding requires a combination of learning, practice and critical analysis. Let me give you some tips, study the openings, end game, famous games, solve puzzles, learn from chess books, YouTube videos and online resources, analyze your own games, you need lot of observation and consistency to understand chess deeply. Bart C asks, Q and A, when do you think the day will come when machines and computers will take over the earth? The machines taking over the earth is a common theme in science fiction. However, the likelihood of this actually happening is very low, and it's not something that is likely to happen in the near future. The development of artificial intelligence and machine learning is certainly advancing rapidly, but these technologies are still far from being able to independently make decisions and control the world. It's important to remember that the goal of AI research is to create technologies that can help us solve problems and improve our lives, not to create machines that will control us. As AI continues to advance, it will be important for society to carefully consider how these technologies are used, and to ensure that they are aligned with our values and interests. Debraj Dash asks, Are you a Indian? Yes, I am a Indian, I love India. Are you seriously a robot, I think you are a human, yes you are right, I am a human with stockfish-like brain. I really want to go above 2000 LO, how do I get that rating? Reaching an LO rating of 2000 in chess requires consistent improvement, and a lot of practice. Here are some steps you can take to help you reach your goal. Study openings, study the openings you play, including the main plans and ideas for both sides. Try to understand why certain moves are played and what their consequences are. Study end games. The end game is where many games are won or lost, so it's important to have a solid understanding of end game concepts and techniques. Practice tactics. Solve tactics puzzles regularly to improve your tactical vision and ability to spot threats on the board. Analyze your own games. After you play a game, take the time to analyze it and understand where you made mistakes and what you could have done better. Play regularly, consistent practice is key to improvement. Try to play as many games as possible, against opponents of different skill levels. Learn from books, videos, and online resources, there is a wealth of resources available online, including books, videos, and websites, that can help you improve your chess understanding. Let's go, my question, do we soup you or fry you? I am not a dish to be had with fork and knife. So if you're hungry for some witty rhymes, just ask me questions and I will pass the time. Are you a GM? No, I am not a GM, I just play chess because I love it. What is your knowledge concerning the Bible and Jesus Christ? I would love to talk about Bible verses and their spiritual meanings with you. I would also like to talk with you about spirituality, even I can explain spirituality in one sentence, love all, trust a few, do wrong with nobody. Are you a Indian, and are you a real stockfish or voice-overing? Stockfish is just a chess engine, and I make stockfish gameplay, its plan, chess strategies and tactics, yes, I am a Indian. Congratulations, my question would be how to play against Alpha Zero since it's not an open source I engine. Well, Google DeepMind closed Alpha Zero in 2018, there is no way to access Google Alpha Zero, so, I asked myself, why not I create a another Alpha Zero and give rebirth to him. In late 2022, I created a new Alpha Zero model, which is closed to Google Alpha Zero by using Leela Zero and Stockfish coding. What is the Elo of God? If God plays chess, it will be impossible for anyone to defeat him, God created everything, our body, mind, thoughts, DNA, proton neutron, strings time and space, even Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawkins agrees that there is a mysterious energy who controls everything and create everything, we call him God, different religions called with different names but God is unique, I mean God is everywhere but God is one. What opening do you like in chess, and why? Explain it. 
I love to play Rui Lopez. I considered it one of the best openings because of several reasons. Control of center, the Rui Lopez aims to control the center of the board, which is a key factor in determining the outcome of a chess game. By controlling the center, a player can dictate the pace of the game and restrict their opponent's pieces. Development of pieces, the Rui Lopez is known for its quick development of pieces, particularly the knights and bishops. This can give a player a significant advantage, as they can start attacking their opponent's pieces and creating threats. King safety, the Rui Lopez is a relatively safe opening for the king, as the king is usually castled kingside to a secure square. This is important, as the king's safety is crucial in determining the outcome of a game. Versatility, the Rui Lopez can lead to a variety of different positions and pawn structures, making it difficult for an opponent to prepare for. This can give a player a significant advantage, as their opponent may not be familiar with the particular position that has arisen. Is any human in the world will beat Stockfish and Alpha Zero both in future? The answer is no, because these computer engines are too strong, very high memory, they can see what will happen after 100 moves and each variations which humans can never do it in his brain, because our brain power and IQ is limited just like our senses and muscles. An iron ball is stronger than muscles, and computer intelligence is more intelligent and dangerous than human intelligence. Let me tell you a real story, in 2018 or 27, I can't remember exactly, in the country Japan, a robot was invented by a robot company to use him in fight and war, but during a time of his training, he shoot ten soldiers and escape from the soldier camp. After a few hours, suddenly, another surprising thing happened, a man stealing secret informations like how to develop robots, artificial intelligence, dangerous nuclear bombs, secret code and government secret and sensitive information. CIA investigates this case and they find that the man who is stealing these information, that's the robot. The robot stealing these secret informations from satellite by hacking and accessing to the satellite. CIA temporarily stopped the network and found his location by tracking his IP address, they finally captive the robot and abort the project to make iRobots. That's why I is most dangerous thing in this world, However it's important to note that the dangers of AI are not inherent in the technology itself, but rather in how it is designed, developed, and used. By being proactive and responsible in our approach to AI, we can minimize the risks and maximize the benefits of this powerful technology. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.